critical race theory has made its way out of the ivory tower and into the federal government. And you're paying for it. My next guest, guest says a whistleblower sent him a treasure trove of documents last week about diversity training that's held at the U.S. Treasury Department. The lecture the employees received was called Difficult Conversations About Race, which included helpful advice like virtually all white people contribute to racism and that white employees must accept their, quote, unconscious bias, white privilege, and white fragility. Joining me now is the man who uncovered this shocking waste of taxpayer dollars. It's an outrage. Christopher Rufo, contributing editor at City Journal. Chris, I learned about this when I saw your tweet on Twitter. Um, it's unbelievable. Do you think programs like this, are, are they contained to the Treasury Department? They must be government-wide, yes? Yeah, they're absolutely government-wide. And in fact, the person who conducted this training session, Howard Ross, has billed taxpayers more than $5 million uh, conducting dozens of these kind of trainings throughout the federal government. Uh, he did, for example, a $3 million uh, training for the GSA and a $500,000 training for NASA, uh, which he was calling Power and Privilege Sexual Orientation Workshops. So this is something that is running rampant. And rather than curtailing this kind of thing, uh, in the past few, three years since uh, President Trump took office, it's simply accelerated through the bureaucracy. Well, I think the bureaucracy and the swamp, they don't want to let go of this stuff. They want to keep it going. Uh, Chris, this is from the diversity training documents that you found. I mentioned some of these statements earlier. It reads, watch Robin D'Angelo on YouTube, the author of White Fragility. She talks about how white people struggle to own their racism. She asserts all white people Virtually all white people, regardless of how woke they are, contribute to racism. And here's an example of what they expect employees to learn from D'Angelo's videos. Watch. My psychosocial development was inculcated in the water of white supremacy. The default of our society is the reproduction of racism. It's built into every system and every institution. We have to understand racism as a system that we're all a part of. Don't you just want to have her at your next dinner party? Uh, Chris, is there supposed to be value in this? I mean, it's like you're in a bad women's studies class at, you know, UC Berkeley. Yeah, you know, I mean, it really is all centered on the concept of whiteness. And uh, the argument is that essentially all white people can be reduced to their essence, which is this kind of irreducible core of whiteness. Uh, it's a synonym for evil, oppression, supremacy, uh, everything that's wrong in the world. But really what it is, it, it smacks of the kind of race essentialism of 100 years ago. Uh, it's really ugly stuff, and it's absolutely a disgrace uh, that it's something that is happening with taxpayer money uh, to the tune of millions of dollars. Well, I'm going to say what you didn't say. I think it's racist. It's racist to categorize people on the basis of their skin color. And that's what this curriculum, this diversity curriculum is doing. By the way, one of the, one of the uh, script, other scripts says, don't perpetuate white silence. White silence has been one of the most powerful detractors from real progress and social justice. Everyone has a responsibility for bringing attention to this and for acting commensurate with the stated values of the organization and the federal government. So in other words, white silence is violence. So they're, they're, they're using that in the training manuals as well. Chris, thanks so much.